What's going on guys? So I just purchased several decants from a place called Decant House and uh, did a first impressions on the new light blue Italian love. And the next one I wanted to visit because I mean, you know, I'm just a sucker for iris fragrances. I know it's supposed to be kind of a boozy iris. We are going to be taking a look at Givenchy Gentleman EDP Reserve Privé. I have a two ml decant, like I said, that I purchased here. I know a little bit of the notes, but I mean, like I said, I know it's supposed to be like a boozy iris, um, but I've never tried it. I'm not sure if it's going to strike me as similar to something, or it's just going to be mind-blowingly incredible and I have to have it, or it's just, eh, it's okay. I don't know. Let's check it out. Stay tuned. because I still have Italian love right here. We're in the deep dry down. Man, that's some good stuff. The greenness, the patchouli and everything really comes out on my skin. But let's give it a couple of sprays and see. Well, that was a big spray. One spray is going to be plenty here. Not breathing through my nose yet. I don't want to get a heavy dose of perfumer's alcohol. I do have Gentleman EDP. I do have Gentleman EDP Boise. Ooh. Smell in the air. Very creamy creamy warm oh a lot of iris too yeah so this reminds me a lot of Givenchy gentleman edp but definitely warmer it's still creamy and smooth i'm guessing that warmth is the the rum i think is the note that's in it it does have a little bit of a booziness but it's so creamy still like, literally, in the top, this smells like they added rum to Gentleman EDP. That's really, it smells that simple <laughs> to me. The Tolu Balsam, you know, kind of balmy creaminess that Givenchy Gentleman EDP is known for with that heavy dose of orris butter that they use. I feel like they used, it's a little bit different, the iris note here. It's more along the lines of a lipsticky, waxy iris. There's a little touch of spice in the background. So there is subtle differences now that I guess now that the opening's calming down, that opening blast, the first few seconds doesn't stay long. Whatever you get in those first few seconds, it usually walks away from that pretty quickly, mainly with citrus fragrances. But this is nice. This has like a little touch of the spicy tone that uh, Gentleman EDP Boise has. But maybe not so much the woody side of it, because that's more of a spicy woody iris. I don't know. It kind of smells like it could be a little combination of Gentleman EDP mixed with Boise with some rum. Kind of an amalgamation of all of them. I don't know. Bottom line, it smells really good. Iris lovers, it's going to be a must. I'm, I'm going to have, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to get a bottle of this. Damn. After going from a freshie to this, big difference, okay? Especially, I mean, I, I, I know I have a shit eating grin on my face because I love Iris. I love Iris. Fantasy Iris notes, natural Florentine Iris. I enjoy it. Iris, Iris, Iris. Big fan. So smooth, creamy, warm, and rich. Even though I feel like the Iris is dosed a little bit higher than Gentleman EDP, I don't feel like it's too much. I really don't. Very creamy. I would not be surprised if the Tolu Balsam is in this fragrance as well like it is with the EDP because it's got that similar balmy creaminess that smells so similar to Gentleman EDP. I'm pretty confident that it's that. I would be shocked if it's just like some sandalwood creating this creaminess. It really smells like the Tolu Balsam that's found in Gentleman EDP. It's popping pretty good off my hand and if... Both Gentleman EDP and Gentleman Boise are any indication. I should get in the six to eight hour range on my skin pretty easily with this one. If it leans more Gentleman EDP performance, it should be eight plus hours. Um, 
I think the magic's going to be in the trail with this one. I think it's probably going to smell even better out in the air than just directly off of skin like I'm smelling right now. So I'm going to wait 20 minutes. I'll come check back in with you guys, let you know how it's changed, if it's changed at all, and then we'll take a look at the notes. Okay, so we're back. Let me grab my decant. I've been sniffing on it, and it's very intoxicating. It really is. It's got this warmth that never goes away, and it has changed. So kind of that brightness that was up top has faded a bit. The booziness is still here, but it's not strong. And it's got more of a... It's got more of a woody nature, but it's not overtaking the fragrance. The little bit of spiciness I got has kind of faded into the background. It's more of like a, a warm amber fragrance. Um, ambery woody, warm and woody. Iris is still heavily featured here. But I would be surprised, I, I'm confident there's some sort of spice, not like a cinnamon, not necessarily a pep, maybe a little bit of a pepper, like a red pepper type of thing going on here. It's not overly woody, it's not overly warm, it's not overly boozy, it's very, very well balanced. Uh, this, this is more of a, almost like a private blend with, um, like a, a whiskey, rum type of thing, some sort of alcohol, like a darker liquor, if you will, M mixed with iris, basically. It's kind of how it comes across. Like the name, I don't know if it's because of the color of the juice, the warm amber smell with the booziness, or the name, Gentleman Reserve Privé. Maybe it's an amalgamation of all of it making my mind go to that place. Um, because it's not so boozy that I would, I, that it, it's even a fair comparison to say it's kind of like a private blend alcohol of some sort, liquor, whiskey, whatever. Um, but it's really damn good. I got to say, this is a, every bit of an 8 out, out of 10 or better, possibly. And this is just on first impressions, you know. Um, this is a great, great fragrance, in my opinion. I'm very curious about these notes. Let's check out these notes. Okay, I am quite surprised. Not what I was expecting to see. Uh, so I'm on iFragrance Official. Top notes of whiskey and bergamot. So it's whiskey, not rum. Heart notes of iris and chestnut. I would have never guessed chestnut. And base notes of amber. That makes a lot of sense. Um, it comes across very woody to me in the dry down. And I don't see a single woody note. I do get a light kind of red peppery spice in the background, especially early in the fragrance's life. And I don't see any spicy notes here. Todd smells on my skin. Note breakdown tells a bit of a different tale here. A lot of it makes sense, though. The whiskey, the iris, and the amber all make sense to me. What I don't see is spice and woods, which I do get some of. Like, it definitely smells like a warm, amber, woody fragrance right now with a nice alcoholic, boozy vibe in the background. And there's a little tone of spice here. There's a warm spice in the background. Could just be the way it's coming off on my skin. I don't know. Maybe they're just not telling the whole story in the notes right here. But that's what I see missing from the note breakdown that I smell off of my skin. I do smell wood, a woody note, and a subtle type of warm spice of sorts that I'm equating to potentially like a red pepper Something along those lines. I, I mean, I could be way off here. That's just how it smells on my skin here. You know, um, I'm sure some of you that have smelled it may have a similar experience. Everybody's skin's different. You pick up different things with your skin chemistry, but damn, and I'm shocked to not see the Tolu Balsam here because it pretty much smells like that is there. Like they took the core of Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum, which that is a big, strong player in that fragrance and I smelled it right away. I just think they're not giving the full story in the notes here. Like this is main accords kind of thing, the main notes you should smell really, and not necessarily the entire note breakdown of what went into the fragrance. I can tell you from experience, not necessarily everything that's in the fragrance goes into a note breakdown. Hence when you see some of these three note note breakdowns from some of these designer releases. Sometimes there's a little more to it than that. A lot of times there's a little more to it than that. And 
this is a must buy for me. For you, I don't know, that's up to you to decide. But for me, yeah, I don't even need to finish this decant. I need to get a bottle of this. This is going to have to be in an upcoming fragrance haul. Um, this Italian love as well. I really do like Italian love. It's been about three hours. It's still going pretty well on my hand. But this, this is a wow factor fragrance in my opinion. This is a stunner. This is very seductive and intoxicating. This is damn good. Like I said, initial impressions, I... I'm super comfortable safely giving this an 8 out of 10 on first impressions. As I go through full wearings and spend a handful or so of wearings with it, might even increase. But I would say min at minimum this is an 8 out of 10 fragrance because both of the, the previous fl flankers that I mentioned, Boise and Gentleman EDP, that are personal fav my two favorites of the line, those are easy, 8 out of 10 or better as well. So I, I assumed and figured I would really enjoy this. I know a lot of you that reached out to me wanting to know my opinion on it said you think I would enjoy it. You're right. I absolutely need to get a bottle of this. I don't even need to bother finishing this decant, honestly. I mean, I'm going to spray it some more. It smells damn good. <sighs> so creamy. I'm shocked that there's no to Tolu Balsam in this note breakdown, but... uh. Damn good iris fragrance. I love when somebody puts out a damn good iris fragrance. And in my opinion, Givenchy Gentleman Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé is a damn good iris fragrance. Well, that's my initial impressions on Givenchy Gentleman EDP Reserve Privé. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you tried this already? For those of you that reached out to me and said you really believe I would like this, you were definitely right. I am going to need a bottle. I really like this stuff. This is oh, its just getting smoother and smoother and creamier. And the warmth is dying off just a little bit. It does change. Not drastically change, but it does change. And you get subtle nuances. Like I said, I'm convinced there's some sort of wood. Maybe like a sandalwood. I, like a, I think the Tolu Balsam is still in here, but there's got to be some sandalwood because it's getting smoother, creamier. And woodier as it dries for sure. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Gentleman EDP Reserve Prevay and you give it a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.